Alrighty, what's up guys? Another day, another sneaker video. Apologies in advance if you could hear any ambient noise. I'm recording right in front of the window with the windows open. Just the natural lighting hits nice and it's a nice day out. Here are two sneakers that I got in the mail just now. And I think the focus of this video is going to be what sort of sneaker deals you could find on Poshmark. So you can tell in the background, I'm always hitting on some hyped exclusive sneaker releases, but part of me loves just getting GRs or finding sneakers for a good deal and Poshmark is a resource that I use to source some sneakers. Talk a little bit about both and then maybe give you guys some tips and tricks at the end if you guys are interested in you know stacking your collection or starting some sort of resale business. Uh, full disclosure here, by nature I am a sneaker collector so a lot of the stuff I am buying is in my size and I only really buy in my size. So this first one comes from New York so not too far from here. And this one I got for a good deal. I'll put in a screenshot of how much I end up paying for these and you'll see relative to the market on these and you know just in general it's a good price on the sneaker. So I think the biggest thing with Poshmark packaging is always hit or miss when you're buying sneakers is because a lot of people aren't experienced with selling sneakers on there. So I've gotten a few packages where it isn't double boxed or securely packaged like this one but this guy did a really good job doing that. So put that to the side. If you couldn't tell, it's an Air Jordan 1 box. And looking at the label here, let's get a good look at that. It's in my usual 9.5 Air Jordan 1 High OG. Colorway is black, metallic gold, and black. It's a pretty recent Jordan 1 release. These released back in November, I think it is. And there are these. The black metallic golds in the all over patent leather. So. These are gently worn. I think he listed them as worn ones, which I believe, look at that sole. There is literally no sign of wear, no dirt or anything. There are some scuffs that you can't see. I'll probably get a close up of it, but that can easily be fixed. And here's the other shoe. Wow, look at how shiny that is in the light. That looks amazing. Um, let's see what else comes with the extra set of gold laces and the box paper. Again, I'll plug in uh, how much I paid for these, but at the end of the day, really, really good price. Nike Air on the insoles, so these have been worn a few times, but look to be clean. Alrighty, next up, another one. This one in a USPS box. I guess depending on the post office, they get stingy when you you know, alter their USPS priority mail boxes, but I guess this guy got away with it. This one came from California, and the one thing about buying on Poshmark as well is that they generate the label for you, and it's always USPS priority mail. So in theory, all these packages should come in within two days, um, as promised, but you know, sometimes given the, the situation in the world right now, packages could be delayed. I wish this came in a few days ago when I filmed that recent upload of the New Balance pickups that I'd made. Uh, be sure to go check that out if you haven't. This is an interesting one because I've actually had a pair of these before in the past and I flipped them on eBay for a really good price. And then I saw this pair listed up on Poshmark um, and I got a decent deal on that. Post the receipt of how much I got these for, but you know, I can never say no to a good deal and especially when I find things for a good deal I'm gonna jump on it because I know at the end of the day I can make my money back if not a bit more and I'm not in a crazy financial situation where you know I need to be moving these sneakers ASAP I could hang on to things for a really long time and not really pay it any mind and I think this is gonna be the case with this one because I just sold off the pair that I had of these and this is sort of a double up but I don't have two at the same time anymore if that makes sense anyway enough rambling on that it's a New Balance made in USA 998 TCB and if we take a look at this two-piece box see what's inside they are a brand new pair of New Balance 998s made in USA the pony hairs so I think these were actually in a different New Balance video that I made I'll be sure to pop it in right here um, but I'd pick these up probably last year. I sold them recently for way more than I bought them for. And then, you know, I found this brand new pair. We're talking like Marshalls or an outlet type price at $50 for a brand new pair of New Balances. Made in USA ones at that. So being a made in USA, you know that the suede quality and just quality of materials and craftsmanship is going to be on point. You know, the comfort's going to be there. You know, the styling's going to be there. So definitely well worth it in my opinion. 
damn, I might actually keep these. I was taking on the mentality of flipping them just because I sold the other pair because I didn't like them enough to keep them, but seeing them brand new makes me second guess. But yeah, in scenarios like this, the guy had them listed for like $63, and you know, I lowballed at like, I think 20, something like borderline disrespectful. Um, and you know, we kept going back and forth and we met at $50. Uh, when it comes to New Balance sneakers and finding them for a good deal, I think the game is a little bit different. New Balances, and particularly made in USA or made in UK New Balances, are definitely a little more accessible to general masses than Air Jordan 1s or Nike Dunks. Like GRs like this one were never super hyped. I think a year or two ago, this particular model hit um, New Balance uh, outlets and you know Marshalls, TJ Maxx, like all those discount retailers. So in that sense, a lot of regular average Joes that you know go to Marshalls and look for sneakers at good prices and then flip them on like a Poshmark or an eBay or Mercari. It's not like this is like a highly counterfeited sneaker. I don't think a New Balance 998 made in USA is you know, being counterfeited in factories of China. So I think there isn't a lot of hype behind GR New Balances like this one, which is why I'm able to find them at good prices a lot of the time. And part of it too is if you're a buyer and you're looking to keep things, maybe say stack your collection or even flip, New Balance GRs do very well. I think it might be the hype of everything New Balance coming back, this whole dad shoe thing. New Balance has definitely been having its moment since like 2019. But if you're looking to jump on the train and you don't want to break the bank, definitely use these resources. I particularly use Poshmark, eBay, Depop and Grailed. Party is another one that people use, but I feel very strongly against their platform. I think it's junk. For me, those platforms that I named do the job for me in finding things that, you know, aren't super hyped or I'm looking for good deals, you know, when I'm not hitting on things like those, like those Sakai clot LD waffles in the background there. Um, and as far as authenticity goes, I think that's the one thing that people should be mindful of when buying on Poshmark is I'll have like a little screenshot or video grab here of all of the fraudulent listings, you could just tell off the bat based on prices or you know how the listing looks or how it's listed or the, even the users that list these items, you could tell when things are fake or not. And the biggest rule of thumb is if the deal looks too good to be true, then it probably is. So for example, um, if you're looking for a pair of super hyped Air Jordan ones, call it like the Mochas or uh, you can't see them but I have the Hyper Royals back there. If they're listing them for like $100, $200 and the market on them is three, four, five hundred bucks, chances are they're probably fraudulent. So this specific pair, I could tell uh, just by doing my due diligence, I looked at the guy's Poshmark account. He sold a bunch of, you know, regular Foot Locker type GRs, so like Air Jordan 1 mids, Pumas, Nikes or whatever. So I knew that he wasn't in the business of selling fakes. And it's one of those things where I had just liked the item and you know, I waited for him to sort of bring down the price. And once you sort of see him drop the price, you could tell that a seller like that is looking to move things ASAP. So in a way you're, you're preying on sellers. They're sort of strapped for cash and you're willing to buy the sneakers. So, you know, at that point it's, you know, all negotiation and you know, how low is the seller really willing to go. Part of the tips and tricks too is that I like to lowball, as terrible as that sounds. I sell a lot on eBay and a bunch of other platforms and I don't typically like when people lowball me but I also don't get offended. You know, I'm taking the time to list it so it's not like they're wasting my time by sending me a lowball. I'll just deny it and sort of carry on. A lot of sellers do get offended, which I get, but at the same time, you know, you're putting yourself out there. Uh, you're going to get some tire kickers in any sort of business. Uh, market on like a used pair like this is probably around retail, around 170 So if I were to get up and sell these on eBay, and I'll probably make 50 bucks back. But I like this pair enough to keep it, at least for now, especially come winter time, you know, the darker tone sneakers. Uh, this is definitely a sweet, sweet add to the collection for sure. So yeah, I guess to close out, we got these and we got these. Both at really good prices as the box falls over. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these pickups in the comments section. Hopefully that was a good ramble. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you like content like this. I don't know if you noticed that word board over there, but follow me on Instagram at stuff to unlike. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that usual stuff, and we'll close out at that. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video. Peace.